And just hours ago, a Fairfax County judge imposed a life sentence on a screaming, cursing killer who had fled to Ethiopia in a failed attempt to escape police. 28 year old Ioannis Nesibu killed a 22 year old Fairfax County man and hours later executed a 22 year old woman who witnessed the crime. Bruce Lashan is covering this case live in Fairfax County tonight. And Bruce, we understand it was an intense, emotional scene in the courtroom today. Definitely was Charlene. Nasibu apparently didn't realize that he was facing this harsh sentence because moments after the judge handed him a life sentence, Nasibu started screaming, F you, he shouted at the judge, F you, he shouted at some of the victim's family members who were in the gallery and already in tears, go to hell. An uncle yelled back at him, and the judge then yelled at the deputies, grab him. They were already racing in to drag out the killer. He would curse the families of two people that he murdered. Hmm. Now, if that's not evil, I don't know what is. Victims, family members overjoyed at the life sentence, but furious that the killer would think he could get the last word. When the judge said life. Yeah. That's that was just a complete it's relief. Complete relief and so happy, you know, tears coming down. And then to hear him curse you, curse the judge, yeah. curse the process. It was unbelievable. This guy has nothing to hold together. Jurors convicted Nesibu of manslaughter in the death of 22-year-old Hanak Johannes in what prosecutors say was a dispute over payment for marijuana. They convicted him of first-degree murder in the killing of his friend, another 22-year-old, Kades Simone. She had witnessed Hanak's death, and then Nasibu had taken her to another Fairfax County dead end, and hours later shot her to death before escaping to Ethiopia. It took three years to get him back, and another four to finally convict and sentence him. No remorse for life, yeah. no respect for the judge. If you get Absolutely one more day, ridiculous. he's going to go out and kill another person. He's, he's a sick person. He should not be part of a society. No. Now, there was no comment here today from Nusibu's many family, family members who were also in the courtroom. His lawyer argues that he's mentally ill and has impulse control, but the judge handed him a life sentence for murdering Kadest, seven years for manslaughter in Hanak's death, and then another eight years on the firearms charges. The judge said that he should never again breathe the air that is breathed by the victim's families. Charlotte and Leslie, back to you guys. Wait, when you talk about how intense it is, it was intense just to hear you yeah. share that, to be in the courtroom and to yeah. have experienced it, had to be completely uh, even more intense. Wow. All right, thank you, Bruce.